What's going on guys, Carlos here, back with another video. And today we have a wicked unexpected one and hopefully a quick one, I probably just jinx us. But we are doing a wheel bearing on a 2006 G35 because my buddy Brendan likes to destroy wheel bearings because he likes to go to crappy places to get alignment. Shout out to, not gonna tell you what it is. But uh, yeah, so we didn't make a video on this but we just, uh, actually painted these wheels i'd give it a nine out of ten on how we did but uh they came out good the only problem is on this front one it got chipped a little bit from install again bad people but that's okay and besides that that's about it for the update on the car but he's going to be using my wheel bearing that was supposed to be for my z so he owes me one but yeah he was driving down the road and no bueno so we're going to show you guys quick and easy how to do it. Step one, obviously, take the logs off. So once you take the wheel off, uh, not all cars will have this, but um, if your car is still put together and not taken apart, they have this little, uh, pretty much, what would you call this? It's a cotter pin. Yeah. And you just take neo nose or anything else that can grab onto it and basically unlock it or unbend it and just pull it out like this. Squeeze it together a little bit more. Yep, and then just pull it. And then the next step is for this car, I'm pretty sure they're all like this, but a 32 millimeter socket. More than likely you don't have one, but they're like 25, 30 bucks. So uh, yeah, bite the bullet on that. And you're just gonna put it right in. So we had to run out real quick. So I'm not sure. I'm pr pretty sure there, it's actually a 32. But as you guys can see, this is an aftermarket um, nut. So you can see it's way bigger and like has different bite marks. So for if you have aftermarket ones or if you're not, if the 32 doesn't fit, I would try this. It's a one and seven sixteenths. And I'm pretty sure that that is the alternative of a 38 millimeter. And get ready to spend about $40 on a socket. But yeah, so then you're just gonna loosen it up and I'll show you what to do next. So the next step is when this is on the car, there's four bolts in the back. You see one, two, three, and four. You take each one out. A little uh, word of advice is to jack the car up wicked high. It's very sketchy, but you jack the car up wicked high, you can get a breaker bar underneath it and really get some force on it. It will look like this now. All you're gonna do now, obviously the axle is sloppy, but all you're gonna do now is you're gonna put this in here like that. Put the axle through the hole, and then reverse the process, put those four bolts on. So once you guys are all set, it should look something like this, with four bolts on the axle. And then the next step is to use a torque wrench and torque them down. If you have a G35 or a Z, they say anywhere between 60 and 72 pounds. So we're gonna do 70. And you're just gonna torque them down like that until it clicks, like that. Not yet, one more. There it is. Do that four times, obviously, and then put the tire back on. Well, before the tire, axle bolt will go in the center. Like I said, that was a 38 millimeter for this car. So we're done. So just a recap. Once you put the bearing on and you tighten those four bearing bolts like we showed you guys, you have the caliper bolts, normally there's two, one on the top, one on the bottom on the back side. And then you gotta put your axle nut back. This one was a 38 mil, any of them, a lot of them are 32s, just a heads up. And you put your pin back, put it through, and then with pliers, open it up like that so it can't come out. And that's it. New bearing, it's wiggling because it's a floating uh, rotor, but you know, everything's good. Put the tire on and call this a night. We'll catch you guys in the next one, peace.